Today we're going to show you uh, the prop team here at Carbine Studios. Uh, we make all the constructive props for the game. My name is John Jelinek. I'm the lead prop artist here at Carbine Studios. What we do in this room is we get to make uh, all the constructive props for the game. Anything from uh, ships to crates to shield generators or satellite dishes. Uh, we get to do a wide range of props here, which is really exciting and fun. The one prop I got to work on was the Explorer prop, and it's the radar dish. Uh, whenever it comes down and there's like a lot of like really cool animations. Um, I got to uh, Work with one of our uh, Chris Hale. He's a he's a animator really talented guy um, and then we we uh, Shot it over to effects and they did it and you guys can, have kind of seen it in our trailer so far um, Yeah, it was just a really fun prop to work on uh, has a lot of character this little robot guy here. He's uh, He's actually even he's got like a wrench. He's holding a wrench. He's got some overalls. He's got a lot of character uh, he's got a mustache. I mean, how many times do you get to model a robot with a mustache? My favorite things to work on in Wildstar are definitely orange props. They're an absolutely adorable race with a lot of colors. We've got this race that we haven't announced yet, and everything they sort of make is just uh, slapped together. And it's got this really cool character to every prop that you make that has to be my favorite uh, prop. That race would be the the, our team is kind of unique in that we do such a wide variety of props. Like um, one day you might come in and be working on a gun, another day you might be working on a monitor, another day you might be working on a crate or wood or a tree. You never really know. So we get a lot of things that just kind of have to be done for the game and we have to think on our feet and do a lot of different types of uh, materials or props um, or whatever just needs to get done to get the game done. Someone usually sets some sort of standard for a particular race or style and then we can all build off of it. And so that's how we kind of know where to go forward from the concept. You have a really strong foundation to build off from uh, to uh, just make your prop be the best that it can be. So our props can take a wide range of time to complete. Like some things as simple as a table or crate might take a couple days. Um, another prop as complex as a, uh, a spaceship might take up to two to three weeks. Um, also, we have to keep in mind uh, timelines and deadlines for the designers. If a designer needs something right away, we have to sometimes figure out creative ways uh, to meet their expectation and get them something in a quicker fashion. First, you gotta learn fundamentals, then you gotta learn the tools, and then you have to learn how life works. Because you know how panels are constructed and how objects work so they feel real. As far as like background skills, you'd want to get into like 3D, get up your drawing skills. Everybody has like a really good imagination here. For this job, you need to know a great deal about uh, color and what colors look good next to other colors. The more you know, the better. And that kind of goes for like any artist, really. Um, the more you know about anatomy, the more you know about motion, the more you know about mechanics. I did start here in QA and then was brought onto the prop team to help fix bugs, um, do audits and stuff like that. And then being around these guys, helped me learn a lot, and um, I got to work on more and more assets, and now I'm a senior prop artist. I got hired into um, the structures team. I was actually a texture artist for maybe about two years or so, and then I saw an opportunity here in the, pro in the, um, the prop team, and I wanted to be a part of it. I came in here, I was actually jealous of the environment that they had. Everybody was fun, um, it was exciting, and I made the switch. One of the most important things is just the desire to learn, um, being humble and being able to break down and say you don't necessarily know it all. Um, you might not have made a game before, and if you've made a game, you probably haven't made an MMO. Uh, MMOs are absolutely massive projects that have um, very strong technical requirements to get them done. So people have to have a willingness to learn, and everybody uh, on the prop team is very willing to learn all the challenges that it takes. Uh, to actually get the job done, or all the tools that it takes to get the job done. It's not just the drive, you have to get yourself out there, so you can't be afraid to fail. You have to go on yeah. these forums yeah. like Polycount, and uh, you you Dude. get critique, you Dude. ask for help. It's all just hard work. It's all Anyone hard work. can do it. You just have to put in the work. That's all there is to it.
God! Sorry. Everything I do is perfect. I was made this way. <laughs> I might whittle that down to two or three people, and then we'll call those two or three people. Then we might only bring one in for an interview, and then there's only a chance we'll hire that person. Just You're not them. just competing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you're killing their you're killing dreams. dreams. Wow. You, you can't right do it. You can't oh. do it. You're competing with everybody. You'll never have it. You'll never have it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to.